Hello, this is a quick trial about uh, Biptic and how to use it in uh, Jupyter. Um, Biptic is um, a way to keep uh, track of your references when you're writing uh, a paper. So, um, uh, in here I have just some code to compile my paper once I'm done. I have my actual paper, I have a template for the paper, and I have my references. So you will need um, these three at least to uh, run and you can run this in the terminal if you want. But uh, let's jump into it and see how this work. Uh, first in here, I have uh, two things you will have to take care of before you do this. Make sure that you have um, a LaTeX Extra and a Biptic uh, Extra. And these are big downloads, but you will make sure that you will have every font and every library that you might need um, compiling your uh, paper, basically. So in here I have um, a claim about uh, machine learning is used in um, fingerprint image classification. And to uh, create a citation um, to a uh, reference, I can use the HTML uh, site tag and use the, the data site attribute to link it to a specific um, reference. To get um, the uh, reference and add it to our um, file, um, in here I'm uh, using um, um, Google uh, Scholar uh, to, find my, uh, to find the paper that I want. And uh, this is not exactly the paper I want. Um, but um, uh, yeah, uh, actually, this is the paper that I want. Sorry, um, I will uh, click on uh, site and um, Biptech, and I will copy this um, Biptech code for um, uh, a reference, and I will paste it in my. Um, um, reference uh, file uh, that uh, bib uh, my uh, ref that bib file i will get finally the um, citation key and i will go back to my paper and i will paste it in data site now if i save my um, notebook and i um, save my references uh, file or my bib file and um, just take a look at the um, um, template before we uh, compile our uh, paper. It's uh, extending uh, article. Um, you can uh, change your uh, the author name. So basically, you'll put your uh, name in here, or the names of people or uh, of everyone working on the paper with you, um, the title of your paper or article. And um, I'm in here, I'm using plain um, uh, bibliography uh, style, but you can use IEEE if you want. And finally, this is referring to my ref.bib file. So if you rename the file to something else, you can just uh, change this to match your um, uh, bibliography references file, your bib file. Uh, finally, um, to uh, compile this, I will run this code. You can run it in the terminal, but it makes more sense to run it within Jupyter. So uh, this code basically is uh, converting the um, my notebook um, to uh, LaTeX. Um, you you want to change this later to whatever the name of your um, notebook uh, is. Uh, so in here, I'm uh, my name. Uh, the name of uh, my notebook is uh, uh, my notebook that. Um, um, uh, IPYMB uh, and you can change that and change all of these to whatever the name of your notebook is um, then I'm uh, compiling it with LaTeX uh, using Gibbeptech to link all the references then compiling it to PDF three times this makes sure that all your references are um, um, uh, are processed basically um, once this code is done, actually it's uh, been uh, done for quite some time now, um, if I go back to my working directory, uh, I will see a bunch of files in here. Um, but what I care about is my PDF file. If I open that, it will uh, download. And uh, if I select it, I can see um, uh, my uh, article or my paper. 
uh, and I can see the reference in here and it's clickable and I can click to it and it will um, take me to my references and it did all of that on its own now and it will manage all your references if you use the same reference in multiple places it will render it just fine uh, I hope this helped and thank you for watching